They're a criminal's nightmare, but an officer's right-hand man with a sense of smell. 50 times greater than ours and a heightened protective instinct, police dogs are invaluable in the face of danger. And the training it takes to get them there isn't easy. And tonight's CHV wants to know, Shelby Danielson takes us inside one facility to see how that training unfolds. Craig Denise of the four training facilities in Arkansas, the Little Rock Canine Academy is the largest and according to them, the pickiest. It's also the only facility where every trainer is an award-winning officer and certified instructor. That's why only the best make it through. That's my boy. Man's best friend. Good boy. Is by nature. If you don't come here, I'm going to release my dog. Man's greatest protector. It's here at the Little Rock Canine Academy where the two become one. The relationship between a person and a dog is just, it's, it's unreal. Uh, the dog is first and foremost a companion. Uh, he's a loyal friend. He needs as much human attention as a human needs the canine attention. So how does this docile companion go from this good dog to this? Tony Smith has been training police dogs for over 30 years. He started the Canine Academy in 1983. It never gets old, it gets more challenging. He buys most of his dogs from Holland and Mexico, each costing him up to $2,500 to train. Our standards are set pretty high. One out of every 10 usually won't finish our training program. If one doesn't make the cut. Our dogs are considered uh, tools. They're not pets. So therefore, if a tool doesn't work, you, like me, will return that tool for one that will. He houses up to 15 dogs at a time, separated into three kennels depending on the purpose of their training. Labs are trained for scent detection. German Shepherds and Belgian Malinois are trained on scent and apprehension. All carry the same predisposition. Dogs are instinctively uh, trained to protect their herd. Uh, the dogs don't know that the humans are their herd. Each dog trains a rigorous four hours a day, seven days a week in obedience, What's tracking and drug detection, some tallying up to 80 hours of exhausting work. We have our training facility. Uh, it's where we conduct a lot of our classroom. Good boy, good boy. Furniture is scattered throughout the room to imitate the possible location of a drug raid. We must throw in a fashion to where the dog thinks his tennis ball comes out of the area where the narcotics is coming from. He will sit and stare at their narcotics and he will wait until he gets involved. Next, training moves outside for tracking. It's not the human scent that they're even after. It's where somebody has been running through there and broke the vegetation. Like the tennis ball, hot dog scraps are placed throughout the course as a reward. Then, just west of the state fairgrounds, obedience training begins. Here! Bowie! Here! It's not just for the canine. When he bite, I'm a good whip it. The handler must learn how to discipline his dog, while a fellow officer suits up to take the brunt of the drill. I decided to step oh, in. Ready. Oh, okay, there we go. First the bite suit, a run through on basics, then drill after drill after drill until no. discipline no. is instilled. Once the Academy's course is complete, Smith sells them to law enforcement agencies in five countries, the U.S., Canada, Mexico, the Northern Mariana Islands, and Iraq, each with a price tag of seven to $10,000. Once the sun starts to set on this training day, another round of work begins. I said it's smelly pinky, but you have to kind of get used to it. Each dog is led out, then led back in, as their cage is sprayed down and scraped clean. At this time of day, we sit around, we chit chat, we give each other feedback on how each dog perform and what we can do tomorrow to make them perform even better. We look forward to even a better day than we had today. Smith's crew is already preparing for its next dog handler's course on June 2nd. And keep in mind, just like any officer, a canine enjoys retirement too, about seven years in. So that's about half a century of work and dog years. Craig, Denise. Wow, Shelly, lightning. <laughs> Thank you. Right now, the Little Rock Canine Academy is expecting six new dogs from Mexico, but they're still scouring Europe for two more German Shepherds. And to do that, Smith and his team analyzed videos like this one sent to them from trainers around the world. They've narrowed it down to dogs in Czech Republic and Germany, Amsterdam, and Poland. And to bring over just one of those dogs is going to cost $500. If it doesn't work out, it costs $1,500 to send it back.